Hello and welcome to the AutoShare new reservation site tutorial. Uh, this tutorial is designed to give you a quick walk through the new features that we have in this uh, improved user interface. And what I'm going to do today is I'm going to show you how to make a reservation uh, from a list of cars and also by selecting a car from a map. As well as doing that, I'm also going to show you some interesting features like adding a new favorite address and uh, modifying uh, the details of your reservation. So just as always we begin by logging in and a side note is uh, your personal information has remained the same so your login and passwords are the same and nothing has changed um, with this new user interface. When you log in you basically see a list of vehicles which looks a lot better than before and you just as previously can book a car by selecting a specific date so I'm gonna go and select January the 11th for my date and I'm gonna say I need a car from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. Uh, next you can go and search by a favorite location so I have a location called auto share office and when I click on it the system will search for all the cars close to the auto share office and as you can see I get uh, front and Blue Jays way uh, Mac which are very close to our office here now a new feature is in this new interface is selecting multiple vehicle types when choosing book to book a car and when you click on select multiple vehicles this new box opens up that shows you a list of all the different cars that we have let's say I wanted a Mini Cooper but I'm also willing to settle for a Mazda 3 or a Prius Hybrid I'll check mark these three vehicle types and I'll click on continue and now the system is showing me only the cars the car types that I selected you can also search by a specific amenity so something like a dog free vehicle and all you need to do is check mark the specific amenity type that you wanted click on search and there you get only dog free cars so I'm gonna decide on a specific car let's say I wanted this Mini Cooper at front and church click on select and the new box opens up which shows me the details of my reservation note that at this point I still haven't actually made the reservation it's almost a uh, confirmation page if we will and so I can double check my times I can also double check my costs I am not showing any costs here but obviously you would so make sure that you are comfortable with the amount what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna adjust my time so I have my car from 9 to 4 but let's say I changed my mind and I wanted it from 9 to 9 so all I need to do is grab this bracket and drag it over to 9 o'clock and my details will get adjusted now that I feel comfortable with my car type the date times and the uh, cost of my reservation I just click on reserve and I have myself a reservation this is the confirmation page which gives me a map of the location some details about this location such as how to get in and how to get out um, what I can do from here is I can change some details I can cancel this reservation I can print a confirmation page or a new cool feature is save this reservation to Outlook so if you click on this button uh, Firefox will attempt to download a file which Outlook would afterwards open and save as a date in my calendar I'm not going to do that but for those of you that like to use Outlook as your organizer it's a very useful feature um, another way that I can make a reservation is by choosing a car from a map rather than from a list so if you are somewhere in the city that's you're not very familiar with 
you could click on map in the top right corner and you get a nice map of the city of Toronto so let's say I was in the east and then I'm not too familiar with the auto share locations in that part of the city I could basically just have a look and let's say I was at the beaches and so I see that there's a location at Woodbine and Queen I can click on it and the system will show me what kind of cars are available at this time so let's say I'm, I've changed my mind I don't want a car on the 9th anymore I want a car on the 30th of January and I want it between 5 a.m. and 6 p.m. let's also say that I wanted this car to be dog free I'm gonna select dog free click on search and the system is going to populate the map with locations that uh, now interact with my choices so th these gray boxes represent locations where a car does not match my preferences or, or times that I wanted a car for uh, as you can see Woodbine is no longer available because the car is either booked for that time or there are no dog free cars at that location uh, what I do see however is that there is a car on the Danforth and, and Woodbine that will match my selection and so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna choose the 93 Mini Cooper because I know that it's available for that time and I know that it's a dog free car I just click on select and the same dialog opens up as before where I can adjust times and uh, make sure that my costs look good so I'm gonna confirm everything and uh, also I think I changed my mind I don't want the car from 6 I now till 6 I now want it till noon so I drag that bracket uh, over and after everything looks good I click on reserve and I have myself a reservation and now I get the same confirmation page as before let's say that now I wanted to go back and change the details of a certain reservation that I've made in the past so all you do is you click on my reservations in the top menu and here I am shown some reservations that I have previously cancelled or made and I can go back to my reservation for car number 93 which we just made on the Danforth and I can click on either change if I want to adjust the times and bring the car earlier or extend it or simply cancel it if I'm if I no longer need it now always make sure that you know our uh, cancellation policy and you can find it in our members section but if you just want to cancel a reservation you click on yes and your reservation is cancelled The last thing I want to show you in this tutorial is how to add a new address into your favorites list. What you need to do is you need to go back to new reservation and then there is a little red button over here beside select a new address. You click on that link and what we get is a dialog box called location finder where we can type in an address such as the address of our home that will then be used as a central point for choosing vehicles uh, for a reservation so I'm going to type in an address a random address 2140 Young Street Toronto search and the system finds that address for me sometimes it may find multiple addresses uh, if you for instance search for 100 Sinclair in Toronto it could find Sinclair East and West and then you just make your selection from there you click on save this location and uh, you can give it a title I'll give it a title of random you click on save and now when I make a reservation you see that it's uh, one of the options that I have in my location 
or addresses section is my randomly saved address and I guess it's somewhere around Young and Eglinton so I get shown all the various Young and Eglinton vehicles uh, in this list. That concludes our tutorial. If you ever have any questions or problems you can always give us a call at 416-340-7888. Thank you.